The objective of this video is to show several ways to change the display and appearance of views and object categories within a Revit. Begin by opening up an existing project file from the recent file page. To control the visibility of elements within a model, it's essential to know that each element resides on its own category. These are listed within the Visibility Graphics dialog box. Now, this can be activated via the View tab Graphics panel and selecting the Visibility Graphics tool. Now, please note that the top of this dialog box is very specific. It says Visibility Graphics overrides for floor plan level 1, meaning that any change we make will only affect elements within this view. So we are currently in a floor plan in level 1, so any change we make to either the model categories or the annotation categories will only happen in this view. We are going to turn off the elevation marker, they fall within the annotation category tab. So, if I scroll down, I should find the elevation category. And if I remove the checkbox alongside elevation by clicking on there, pick OK, and now we are without any elevation markers. We can activate the visibility graphics dialog box by using a shortcut. If I type VG, for example, up comes the dialog box but it also has an alternative which is VV. So if I type in VV, that come up now the dialog box. Now, it's worthwhile remembering that in a Revit, if you use a shortcut, there is no requirement to hit either the enter key or the return key after typing the characters. Now, what I'm going to do is turn off two categories and those two categories will be the roof and the elevation markers so if i select the roof hold the control key down which will enable me to add to selection set and then use the shortcut vh which stands for the visibility height and what that is done is the, the equivalent of us going in the visibility graphic dialog box and turning off those two categories 